in the Augusta Judicial Court for more than a year now, and now another woman has come forward alleging corruption in the system. Our Katie Solt joins us now live again. Katie, you sat down with the mother. Why has she filed the complaints? Wendy, I spoke with Shannon Baskin and her lawyer, and they both say there are several instances of an abuse of power when handling the custody case. But the biggest flaw of all to Baskin is that Judge Roper awarded custody of her daughter to an ex-boyfriend who had no biological or legal ties to the child, and she wants to know why. What matters is what is right and what is wrong, what is just and what is unjust. And what is just is to have my daughter be with me. Gary Hill has never been a stepfather to her. He's never been an adopted father. He's not her biological father. They have no legal relationship whatsoever. A child taken from her mother and placed with a man she barely knows. A ruling that Shannon Baskin and her attorney are still trying to wrap their heads around. Judge Roper was the presiding judge in Shannon Baskin's custody battle. And Baskin's attorney says in the final months of the case, there were flagrant violations of the law when Judge Roper was on the stand. In a complaint filed with the Judicial Qualification Committee, Riley states that Judge Roper would not release audio from a temporary hearing from July 2014, where the transcripts did not match what actually happened in the courtroom. You sit here saying, okay, you have a concern that the audio or the transcripts might be um, altered. Well, you'd want to exonerate yourself. You want to give exculpatory, you know, say, oh, sure, here you go. Maybe there was a mistake. We're not expecting him to be perfect. Another example Briley cites in her complaint is, quote, the court goes on to advocate for the defendant, making excuses for his domestic violence conviction. Judge Roper comes in the interim order playing defense attorney regarding the proceedings that happened in 2007 during Mr. Hale's plea hearing. The fact that Judge Roper is coming in and playing defense attorney and justifying that, no excuse for it, none. In the interim order, Judge Roper states, quote, Baskins claims to be the victim of long-term domestic violence at the hands of Hale. There is no evidence of this contention except one incident in 2007 when Baskin was pregnant with William. Hale was arrested for family violence battery. Hale entered a no low plea to a reduced charge of battery and was sentenced as a first offender. Judge Roper goes on to say, quote, the court finds that Hale was most likely acting in self-defense, but in anger handled Baskin roughly. These photos are of the bruises Baskin suffered to her back in the incident Roper found to be a self-defense situation. The final order granted Hale custody of the three children, including Baskin's biological daughter, citing Hale as the father. Roper names Gary Hale all through it as her father. I thought father meant biological. I thought father meant stepfather. I thought father meant an adoptive parent, not an ex-boyfriend. Also in the final order, a gag order issued by Judge Roper for all parties, preventing all parties from talking about the case for 11 years, specifically on the form suspicion that Roper altered transcripts. The gag order says, quote, plaintiff, defendant, and their attorneys are hereby restrained and enjoined from putting, placing, or causing to be placed any allegation that any transcript in this case has been altered upon or in any social media website or other public medium or speaking or corresponding with any print radio television media about any such allegation briley has challenged the gag order in federal court and filed the petition on april 20th before the custody was granted hale owed baskin a total of twelve thousand two hundred ninety nine dollars and thirty seven cents an amount that according to judge roper Hale no longer had to pay to Baskin after he was granted custody. In May 2015, Baskin and her attorney filed an appeal of the permanent injunction with the Supreme Court of Georgia, and they also appealed the custodial issues to the Court of Appeals. And as Baskin waits for an answer, all she wants now is justice. When you're a mother and your very best that you could do as a human being not good enough? Strong, baby, strong. It'll break you to your core. This is bigger than just Shannon Renee Baskin. This is bigger than my children and my family. 
This is for all families who have gone through it before me and who are to go through it while I'm going through it and who is to come. When I called Judge Rover to see if he would respond to these allegations, he simply said, quote, I cannot talk about an open custody case and hung up the phone. I also reached out to Hale and he told me he was not able to talk to me about the case at this time due to the gag order issued by Judge Roper. We will continue to follow this story for updates and for more stories on the Augusta Family Court System, head over to WFXG.com and click under the news section. We'll be right back after this.